All right, guys. Today, actually, we're doing something different. Today, we're here to honor a man that actually we know to know as Master Anta. But truth be told, that's probably one of the less things that we probably know about him. See, the, the Master Anta title has come with his foundation of life and martial arts. But obviously, him and Elena knows he's much more than that. He's a father, he's a son, he's a brother. Uh, and more importantly, he's, dealt, he's lived his life with integrity, moral fortitude, and he's done everything his, in his way with persistence, overcoming any objections which we've all had. So today, sometimes when you honor somebody, since we're in that Christmas theme, I realize gift giving, and obviously we're you know symbolic because it's the, the, the birth of Jesus Christ, and we tend to obviously give, give and so forth. But let me ask you guys a question. In five, the last five, 10, 15 years, when you received the gift, the material gift, you probably don't remember that gift as much, unless it's a wedding ring or you know something symbolic. So tonight we're gonna symbolize something, and we're gonna give you a gift that actually touches the human spirit and the soul, instead of a, instead of a physical gift. So for that, I say to you guys, in your life, what we're about to do is we're going to go ahead and we're about to go through one round. And in this particular round, it's going to symbolize and it's going to embody the spirit that Mr. Anta has led his life with, which is no matter what comes at you or what is thrown to you, adversity, fear, rejection, failure, all those things. He has taught us to overcome through Muay Thai. Bottom line is there's eight limbs, but one thing he's taught, and one thing we have is the biggest muscle of all is your heart. All right, so the bottom line is tonight, we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, give an example of that through this particular round of Muay Thai and ensure that, you know, what he's given to us, and by the way, when I say that, that he's taught us, I misspeak. If any of you know Tony Robbins, he never teaches you anything. He awakens the giant within. See, we are all giants. At the end of the day, what Mr. Anta and his wife and Mr. Arcia have taught us, it's not that they haven't taught us, I'm sorry. They have awakened something inside of us that we have and they've been able to tap into it. So whether it's for me, myself speaking personally, is whether I've had personal issues or any type of issues, the struggles and the, the character of this class that I've had to put through, excuse me, the, the struggles in overcoming all of those issues, whether I was a yellow belt or now a brown belt, have awakened that, that spirit that I has as a child. Because the bottom line is it never goes away. It's basically three things, DNA, your parents, your heritage, your inner circle, and those life experiences that you go through. 18, 25, 35 years later, you come into this class. I had lost a lot of it, but I had it somewhere inside. So you're not gonna maybe be the Bruce Lee of Muay Thai, but I will guarantee you one thing, you're gonna learn some things about yourself and your soul and your spirit in this class that you didn't know before you got into it. And that, my friend, is better than any eight limbs that you will learn for the yard. So tonight, we bow to Mr. Anta like every night. Everybody grab a partner. We're only gonna do one round. This round will consist of four minutes and 22 seconds. Like the life he has led and the life you're leading now, start the round slow, like in life. Those who have the pads on, Hit back gently because life hits back. And at the very end, go big or go home. Finish it. Go to work, remember, this is life. Start slow, but don't quit for four minutes and 20 seconds. Get your arms out, one last thing. Fabian is our student of the year. You have the privilege to set the temple tonight for this round. Yes. Set the temple.
tell me I can't do it. When the people tell me you're not good enough, you're too old, it, it can't happen. I love proving people wrong. That's what motivates me, doing it my way. Many, many, many years ago, this community leader came up to me, said, man, you know, my son used to go to this martial arts school, this was before Doral was even here, that they break boards in demonstration. How come you don't break boards? I goes, I don't break boards. I'm not gonna give him the Bruce Lee boards don't strike back. I didn't, but I don't. A few years later, became the most successful martial arts school in the area. He tells me, man, you did it your way, and it worked for you. At the same time, there was only two martial arts schools here, and I was over 25. The one that was here first said, he's a prison guard, and he's brand new at this. He's gonna close down soon. Bless you. By the way, very few people know his name today. So what I'm telling you guys is there's only one way to fail. That's quitting, giving up. Thousands, I lost track. Could be two, 3,000 people have passed by in 18 years, especially at one time we had three elementary schools, a middle school and two elementary schools that we taught. Just yesterday I had this kid that's 18 years old come up to me and say, they were at my, at my house, they're, they do the youth group meeting for our church. Comes up to me and says, hi, how you doing, good? He goes, I was a yellow belt. I go, really, what style, where? Because when I was real little, I studied with you. And then he started talking to me for a long time. Guys, if you kill me, I have no idea who he is. Thousands of people come by. I only remember the ones that get the highest rank. First, I have a bad memory. And then, you know, the ones that have been here longer, I'm surely gonna remember. Nobody remembers the quitter. Everybody remembers the one that makes it to the end. You guys made a commitment to get your black belt. Nothing should stop you. One of the problems my wife says I have is that if I promise him, him, and her something, I am gonna do it. Even if I stress out, and how am I gonna do it? I told him that I was gonna do this for him by this day, but I told him that I was gonna hang out with her, him, and I told her that I would have something ready. I can't. Guess what, I will. Next time I won't promise all three. And I've learned to say I'm sorry, Pedro, I can't go now because I said, I'm out of mind, I'll tell him, but I told Fabian I was gonna do this, and then I would tell you, I'm sorry because I have to finish him. But what I'm trying to say is called integrity. And that's what you guys showed today. But every time you come up here, do it your way, like the song says. And there's times where you're gonna take the blows, where you're gonna go down. But what makes a champion is coming back up. And yes, like the song says, regrets. I have very few. Even when I screw up, when I make the biggest mistake, even when they close the door on me, because I said something, because I'm very verbal. God always opens another door. So I have very few regrets. So again, guys, thank you so much. Mike, thank you, that was awesome. She knows, the day I drop dead, that's a song you're gonna play at my funeral. Because I'll do it my way until I die. And I always go against the way other people do it. That's what success is about. If everybody did it the same, why? If I, if I did the same thing everybody did, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. If I would have stayed with Kung Fu after I became a master and I wouldn't have learned Muay Thai, Krav Maga, started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Judo Kickbox, I would have stayed just with Kung Fu. Would have been great, I got master, but not until I dropped dead am I not a student. So again, guys, thank you, and let's have a great workout today. Yes, sir. Uh -huh.